君はね確かにあの時私のそばにいたいつだっていつだっていつだってすぐ横で笑っていたなくしても取り戻す君を I've been never leave you Sounds like someone was cracking their knuckles. What the hell is that? The hope she risked so much the game has been shattered. She mutters piteously as she falls. I knew that you couldn't beat her. The shadow, in contrast, is completely nonchalant. But wow, you really didn't have any qualms about attacking her. Deep down, you must really want to make them suffer, don't you? You want them to go through what you have to. No! I see. I got the biggest urge to skip all this right now because it's just every ugh, it was repeated. Everything was repeated. You want the everyday boys and girls to experience what you have to go through, right? Yeah. You want you want that ain't true. But it was no use. It's all right then. You don't have to. I'll destroy anyone who doesn't understand you and comes to get in your way. Please stop. That's all a lie. You're not me. And finally, you finally said it. I'm finally free. The shadow's eyes start to glow full of life. It isn't just a change in his attitude. The power seems to actually be rising. It's power level. It's time for the true star to uh -huh. take the stage. Jeez. I don't know. It's just something about seeing the same scene unfold several times just makes me very agitated. It's like, why am I watching this again? Yes. So you know what? What I might do is edit all this stuff out and just put in, like, the new stuff. The new, anything that's new other than this repeated bullcrap. It seems that the shadow has accomplished his gold with libraries. I was f used, forced. I was used, forced to fight my sister for this purpose. Now, let's get started, shall we? This isn't just for libraries. This is the enemy, the fate of anyone out here. It human. seems that I must take responsibility for this. All right, right into the next fight like that. That was quick. This might be a shorter episode. If that's the case. I'll just fuse this part with the last part. I had my chance. I missed my chance. Oh my god, he read the shit out of my inputs. I hate that. Fuck you! Get the fuck out of my face! Get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit! Oh my goodness! Got the ability to read inputs, but you can't move out the way from an instant kill. Yeah. Genius. Real genius. 
They can read all your in- they can read all your inputs. I was blocking low, so she woke up. When I woke up, she did a high attack. Who the fuck this game? <laughs> fuck the CPU. That's all I gotta say. The monster's form melts away as it disperses like fog. I somehow pulled through. Easy. Are you all right? She's conscious. It seems to have no major damage. Please listen. I have a message for you, from Yosuke-san. <gasps> he said that he is sorry for promising to help you and being unable to support you when you needed it most. Additionally, he said that he would be throwing a party later. <laughs> you are invited, of course. You're lying. If that is what you think, you can ask him yourself later. Now please stand up. <laughs> well, the real Labrys, please stand oh, up. Happened? Please stand up. I didn't want to hurt anyone or make him suffer. I know. That was a shadow going berserk. Not everything it said reflects your true feelings. I had a similar experience, actually. My other self was on the verge of going berserk. It told me there was an innate contradiction in having a heart, but not being human, preventing me from truly protecting others. Wasn't that tough to listen to? Yes, of course. Then how can you stand it? How are you still acting like everything's fine? I'm fine right now. But I'm sure I will suffer that pain again someday. Very probably. As long as I am myself, it will never go away as long as I live. It won't? Then what can I do but give up? What am I supposed to do? We'll be alright. As long as we have friends. It was when you were alone that you suffered most. I'm sure of it. If you do not give up on reaching out to others, you will surely find someone who understands. Or maybe... Hey! hey there you are! Thank goodness! Are you two okay? You seem to have the matter in hand. Kanji and Rize sh shortly arrive after... Now, the shadow has been defeated, the invisible walls trapping them have disappeared. There are some new faces to me as well. You near a camion, you Kiko Mangi. Junior Teddy. So everybody came to this room. It might be more accurate to say that those who understand you are already here. Of course, I want to understand you as well. Please talk to me whenever you want. Tell me about your memories, even if you have to take them one at a time. Barbara sinks deep in thought and then looks at me again. You were right. I was always alone, so I had no one to talk to, no matter how much it hurt. And I went and blamed that on them. Time to accept her shadow, which we will not be watching this cutscene again. Cause ain't nobody got time for that. This reminds me of us from last year. Yeah, it's the same thing. She's really no different from us. They're scaring others' life. To acknowledge one's weakness in front of others, they must have entered, or they must have earned this persona through the same ordeal. Is that Labrys? Then we will turn us to look at the newcomer. Mitsuru-san, Akihiko-san, you're all right. <laughs> of course we are. Uh, who are these people and what the hell are they wearing? <laughs> oh man, a dude storming across the battlefield in just a cape? <gasps> I'm all about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you've got good taste. Seriously? <laughs> I say you got good taste. <laughs> the way you said it was just Don't too worry. funny. Jeez. A smile and nod. She still bites her lip in anxiety, but she is no longer afraid of everything. You're Labrys, correct? I'm glad you're safe.
All right. So we got to fight Igus's shadow here. No, Igus's shadow already appeared, so it probably won't be. Yeah, Elizabeth was here too, so she probably knew something of the malevolent entity. So I'm what I'm guessing, we're gonna have to fight Labrish here again. Do 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 do. That's a lot of text you have to read. Uh uh. So when did you actually awaken? Akigo's question is blunt, but Labrys handles it calmly, knowing that is the natural thing to ask. No, I can't remember. She's being honest. She had used her ability on herself. Not even she, excuse me, not even she knew what she was really was. But Akihiko seems skeptical. I have no Please, memory of oh, Can you be lenient with her? I didn't even push a button. Misu San folds her arms. Um, yeah, would you? Please? Yes, Kikun. I know I'm asking without knowing the whole story here, but please don't lock her up again. Well, I hadn't intended to seal her away again to begin with. <laughs> Mitsuru-san! Mitsuru lying through Seriously? her teeth. Did you hear that? <laughs> she lying through her teeth. <laughs> it should be a walk in the park compared to the challenge of sending Igus to school. She has no intention of logging her away. Thank you so much. Um, how about if we go outside? This isn't really the place to stand around and chat. Yeah. Well... It's a hell of a way to start off a holiday, but at least it's over. And why'd that shadow have to pick our school and us of all people? You know, that is odd now that you mention it. I was told this place takes its shape from a person's memories. Why would it become this high school? I had picked up on that incongruity as well. Putting aside that Inaba was chosen as the escape destination, why was a specific school so carefully recreated? I also have my doubts about Labrys's power. Strictly speaking, it doesn't rob one's sanity. What her power really does is cloud one's senses with illusions. I'm not sure that would have been enough to control those hijackers so completely. Hey, Labrys. The instant he puts his hand on his shoulder, she suddenly twitches. Hey, what's the matter? Labrys abruptly leaps backwards. Everyone is baffled to see her white body flung, flying over their She's... heads. Stay back, everyone! Sister? No! Why? I do not comprehend what's going on. See, see... No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> Alright, time to save it and time to instantly kill this Labrys. Because ain't nobody got time to be losing constantly due to a lack of experience. I'm not good with most of these characters. Definitely not good with Igus. Igus takes a whole different caliber of practice and skill level to actually play with her. Okay, you, you rarely see Iguses online, but when you do, they're usually, they're usually good. Get that shit out of here. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> what was that, like five seconds? <laughs> That shit was ridiculous. See, at least I get the story out the way this better. This, this is how it should have been in the first place. Labrys. I try to run to her, but I stop when I hear an unearthly voice. You succeeded in repulsing it yet again. Very unexpected. What is this? I'm not getting a good feeling about this. 
It's certainly an ominous presence. That voice. Is that my voice? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Before I can react, an unnatural looking shadow. It's the no. one she met before. Agisan's shadow? To, to think you'd, you'd fight, fight back, back this fiercely. fiercely. No, no wonder you once drove back a god. I wasn't very, you know, and you never mind. I was just about to say, how can a robot have a shadow? But then I realized, Shadow Labyrinth. <laughs> I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> Labyrinth had a shadow too, so never mind. <laughs> yes, I, I want, want them, them even more now. now. Want them? What does that mean? Sadly. It, it seems, seems things won't be going according to plan. This, this is my last check. Entertainment. Same thing. They, that person says the same thing. Instead of answering, he raises his hand over her. Stand, my puppet. Is it controlling her? Sister! She doesn't answer. Her face is blank. It's a blank stare and her shoulders hang unnaturally. She is every inch its puppet. Confused, I look again at the enemy. Is that my shadow? It looks like me, but his voice, his powers, they're all so different from mine. This form is exhausted from constant battle and will be useless as an asset. But unless you destroy it, it will keep rising up and attacking you all. What will you do? Easily, just wait for Yamagishi. That's what we're gonna do. If this keeps up... Let's do this! Takemika! Wait! Don't interfere! What? Please! Clutch my teeth. Libris is under the thing's control and ignores her own limits. And she is already damaged and exhausted from the previous battle. If we all attack, we might be able to contain it, but she could be destroyed in the process. Now, may you suffer and curse your fate. Relinquish your personas! Relinquish? Personas and shadows are one and the same. If I poison your hearts, I can recruit shadows with unparalleled strength. Recruit shadows? Like you can make a contract with shadows or something? Wait, <laughs> what? You mean turn our personas back to shadows? The heart is frail. Its weaknesses are never fully vanquished. Given the opportunity, it can betray you and return to darkness. Old wounds that you thought you had overcome. Opened once again. You almost let go of your hearts. This one's desire to make people suffer was perfectly soup. Plan? You caused all this to gather strong shadows? You bastard. Who are you? <laughs> you had best hurry and decide. Who will be destroyed? This shell? Or the lot of you? If she attacks again, I'm done for. Sorry, but this show is over. Yamagishi now! What? Sister! Looks like you made it in the nick of time. You saved us, Yamagishi. Are you all okay? Fuka-san? Fuka! Can I help but smile? <laughs> so you had a third assistant. Ooh, what a soothing voice! My teddy senses are telling me that this is a real cutie pie! <laughs> Whatever, Teddy. Is this like Risa-chan's persona? Wait, where is she? This feeling. What the? Risa opens her eyes and looks up. Voice. It's not coming from in here. Whoever it is is out there. Seriously? She can use hers in the real world? That's amazing. I guess the enemy, the enemy is just mimicking, mimicking your appearance. appearance. It's not actually a part of you. Very, Very impressive to guess correctly from, from such a long distance away. We hear Fuka's words as if she's speaking, but technically there's no sound. What? She transmits her voice directly into people's mind. Only the people should hear nothing. 
Huh, that's interesting. I never knew that. What is this? I've never felt this heated enough before. You must be the one behind all this. You stole Labrys and threw her into a TV. You were after Persona users from the start. That's why you chose this school and tampered with Labrys' memories. And you just demonstrated how you controlled those hijackers. So this must be the real Puppet Master. Then, that voice who tried to dissuade me back in that classroom. You're, You're quite, quite slow, slow for a machine. Can't, Can't you, you tell, tell by, by looking, looking at me who that was? So that wasn't something we, my heart saw. Just a malicious whisper. <laughs> malicious whisper. Uh, it's one. It's one forty-three. I've been up since eight. Eight o'clock playing this game. That is about four or five hours almost. Four hours, would you say? Yeah, four hours. All right. So let's do this. Let's do it right. No, I fucked it up. See, now I gotta fight legit now. and caps. <laughs> no, that's... Yeah. If that hit me, I would have been so mad. Bust and caps. <laughs> there we go. I actually got a combo off. <laughs> I can't believe it. It was the challenge mode combo. I guess challenge mode did come in handy. A little bit. Even if it was just for that one last minute fight. This thing shapes... What? This thing shapes like me falls to the ground. <laughs> this is fine with me. Good enough for my purposes that I confirmed you have enough power to meet my expectations. <laughs> Good enough, my ass. Those are the <laughs> words of a sore loser. This is only a temporary form. I doubted there'd be any meaning in changing my appearance. But sure enough, it made for a very enjoyable game. All that irritates me is having to feign cooperation with that foolish human until I obtain the one true vessel. Having to feign cooperation with that foolish human until I obtain the one true vessel. Well, who is she talking about? That's an odd choice of words. Foolish human. I will see you in another guise next time. Just wait until then. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> That's an interesting fact to know. So she's worked... Whoever that entity is, is Yamakishi. working with a human. The reading disappeared. It didn't move, it just vanished. What could this mean? <sighs> Back to square one again. Sheesh. It even had to exit on a lame evil laugh. <laughs> Another guys, huh? Don't even think about coming around here again! Should we put up some talismans? I've got a lot left over from when we were putting them up in our end. <laughs> well, even if it shows up again, 
It'll get double the pain we gave it this time. Who could it be, though? How did it know about our personas? That aside, it sure had a sneaky way of doing things. This is twice I've been kidnapped into the TV world, you know. Twice! It's your fault. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Rize. It's not your fault. That's Don't your worry weird. about it. <laughs> we'll handle things from here. Wait, but it kind of said it was still after us. Of course. We will do our best. But... Guy. You can... Are you serious? They're right that we need... Yeah, all that, everything I just skipped is something that was already repeated in several different stories. You is aware of their situation and speaks out. Perhaps he senses our dilemma. I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, he was able to fool Akihiko and Aegis, apparently. But not Mitsuru. Alrighty! Attention, please! The trip doesn't end until we get out of the TV! Dude, we were in the middle of a conversation. What's this about a trip? You really gave us a scare disappearing like that. And this isn't the first time either. Ha 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 ha! Give me five seconds, guys. It's not my fault! Or should I actually sponsor the next Miss Inabla? Alright guys, sorry about that. <laughs> I accidentally pushed a button while I was on the phone, so what I might have to do is actually cancel out that conversation and just let the video play. But my bad, I accidentally skipped it. But uh, yeah, I'm back. Don't even think about it. Chie's fist is still shaking with anger from Impact of Teddy at full strength. Damn. doing with this ancient TV? Hang on, where'd you even he get He said the this? same thing in his story, in Mitsuru's story. It's a story. Teddy Vision! This TV is our escape route? Can we really fit inside? Ooh, are you a little too front-loaded to fit? <laughs> in that case, I wouldn't mind helping you squeeze through! <laughs> You're even worse than before, you know that? She and Yosuke jump in without hesitation, showing how used to it they are. Seeing that Akihiko and Mitsuru shrug and follow suit. <laughs> this is it that her wings won't fit and she gets caught on the screen. I burst into laughter to see her legs sticking out of the TV kicking wildly. <laughs> I take off the unit on her back and she instantly gets sucked into the TV. I wonder if she landed safely. As the last one left, I turn around and take a final look. It doesn't feel like it, but it's only been a few hours since we entered the TV. Wow. The only three days since the hijacking. So they, all this happened in under a couple of hours. Like I said, it was a Jack Bauer thing. All, all the events occurred in real time. Everyone made it back out safely. Beep, 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 beep. Well, what the hell is going on? When we return to the real world, I'm surprised to find find myself in June as a large department store. What's up with that music? I had never seen Mitsuru so flustered. Even she cannot have expected to emerge from that the most crowded place in town and from and from a display TV. <laughs> Not to mention Teddy. <laughs> I'll do it before I have my picture taken with phone cameras. However, as we walk along, I soon find that my fear of cameras is baseless. In fact, it's, it is not cameras we have to worry about at all. It is the police. I find myself anxious in this complete unexpected situation. And the rest would mean disgrace as an unofficial unit. And I'm sure Yosuke and others would be would like to avoid the inside of Juvenile Hall. What is she tripping about? Everyone hastily agrees with each other and takes off at speed. <laughs> they dipped! They dipped! <laughs> I can hear Yosuke and Chie loudly complain about the unfairness of the world. Mitsuru and Akiko exchange fairly small <laughs> though cold sweat is streaming from both their heads. Teddy and Lavish seems like they're having fun. 
I don't think they understand the situation. <laughs> you and you, Kika, without a word, like determined athlete. <laughs> Kanji tries to turn and fight every so often with Naoto, having to stop him each time. Rijay switches on his cell phone to find an alarming number of missed calls, which seems to be the bigger problem for her. <laughs> In the end, our party with the Yasugami High School students include with a brief goodbye as we scatter like birds. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I would have loved to see that animated. If that whole scene was animated, that would have been perfect funny. That would have been hilarious. We decided to stay the night in Inaba for a quick health checkup and review of the case. After finishing the necessary steps, we decided to take an early rest. The true culprit is still out there and Libras needs to get alive. Need to get to a lab for proper maintenance. After ten years of stasis, she was finally or she was suddenly forced into a series of stressful battles. It would not be surprising if some of her parts are now malfunctioning. Libras has other ideas. May fourth, the next day. Our car is parked near an intersection away from the main road. She wants to say goodbye to everybody. I asked if I could come see everyone. I wanted to give everyone a real goodbye. What do you do next? Are you going back to that lab? No. I decided I'm going to work with Mitsuru-san and them. Awesome. I want to do my damnedest to catch whoever used me to bait a trap for you all. All right. Then I guess the party's on hold until after everything's really over. But hey, you should come see us again anyway. You got it. Ever shakes hands with each of them. Even after we leave, Ivers keeps waving through the rear window. Waving and waving and waving. Waving and waving and w even past the point where the human eye can no longer see, she is still waving. After she has waved to her heart's content, she stands to see Fuka. I'm glad things went well. Oh, but first, it's good to see you again. This is becoming a real reunion. Indeed. Things are going to heat up from now on. I must get back and reallocate my staff. You're including me in there, right? Every opponent I made a mistake against on my journey. I made sure to go back and get a rematch. <laughs> This'll be no different. <laughs> it should spur discussion amongst the staff again about working Yamagishi into our unit. Huh? Um... I'm still not sure about joining any special unit. Plus, the Fuka-san starts wringing her hand. <laughs> Mitsuru's still with the damn forcing people into the damn organizations and shit. Looking at the seat next to me, I know this lot was looking at the sky from I her window. I didn't know the sky was so blue. Back at the lab, they only let me out at night. But this... I feel like I've seen it once before. That same bright blue sky. Once before, I recalled the memories relating to those words amongst countless memories of Labyrinth awakened within me. The cerulean sky, the lingering clouds, the emerald blue alto. In my mind, I placed Labyrinth at the scene. A white figure gazing from the edge of the pier. Hmm, I know this scenery. For an instant, it feels that I... Oh, wait a minute. Is that the the same period that she met um, the Naru Ishigaki, a.k.a. The, the Persona 3 main character? Yeah, I think it is the same pier. Like a knot slowly undoing itself, the lid of to a box inside of me opens and feel, something hot fills my chest. What had been only an image becomes a memory. Soon after, I understand everything. I knew when Liber saw this scene. I see now. Notice in my murmur, Labrys looks at me in wonder. The scenery from your memory was the pier outside of the Yakushima Laboratory. Suddenly, Labrys' eyes open in surprise. The date was the final day before you were sealed. You made a heartfelt wish there. You hoped that your successor would make the same wish to see someone precious to them. And that meeting would take place at the pier. You dreamed that your successor would be able to go beyond that pier to places you would never be able to see for yourself. And that even if your memories were deleted, your feelings would be passed on to the next generation. Labyrinth's ruby eyes begin to quiver. 
My words have unearthed her buried memory. <gasps> That's right. It was at that very place where I met the friends I have now. When I was searching for someone, I found myself naturally drawn there for some reason. Ah! So the pieces are coming together. My memories return to a certain encounter. That day, on that very pier, I met him, my I dear think friend. It was because of your wish. Naru Ishigaki. My wish? You mean the thing I wished for that day actually came true? Indeed. It stayed alive for ten years. Thank you, Labrys. It's because of you that I found happiness. Huh. I didn't know that. My desires. All the feelings I got from the others. They didn't go to waste. <laughs> Tears stream down from lavish cheeks. I stretch out a finger to write them off, but it's already wet from a drop of my own cheek. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Fuka and Mitsuru smile at us gently as they eat some caviar and sip on some green tea. <laughs> Fuka-san seems a bit teary-eyed herself. I, I gotta thank you, too. You made me remember something important. After wiping her tears, Labrys looks at me, her eyes clear and determined. Yes. Someone I have to find. I need to meet her so I can tell her something. I'm able to extend my hand to shake hers, but it seems too distant to gesture for, for we sisters. I'm sure you will. You're not alone anymore. We can search for her together. Yeah. Thanks. As the sun shines down, she gives me the biggest smile I've ever seen on her yet. That doesn't look like a damn smile. That looks like a what? <laughs> I looks like, what? Smile? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I think I'm done with Persona 4 Arena for today. I'll leave those two stories. I said I was going to try to do Naoto's 2, but I didn't expect it to be this long. Welcome to the Velvet I didn't expect all those stories to have lasted this long. Between dream and reality, the angel. And matter. Now then, and you know what I just noticed? yourself. She was originally the Aeon, right? So now she has the, the Fool. She has the Fool tarot card. Huh. I wonder when that... That probably happened sometime during the answer. Any money that happened during the answer. Only reason I'm not playing it because I hear the gameplay is just so horrendous. Like, why would I put myself through that? Why would I put myself through horrendous gameplay? <laughs> And that's all I keep hearing about the answer. Watch a playthrough of it. Don't play it. Just watch a playthrough. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. But that's going to have to wait until after Persona 2.